It's time to change your perspective. The data is in. It's time to rethink what you thought you knew about sutures and the risk of surgical site infection. The evidence is clear. Triclosan-coated sutures have no superiority over non-triclosan-coated sutures in reducing surgical site infection. Surgical site infection, or SSI, is the most common postoperative complication worldwide, representing a major burden for patients and health systems. Spanning three continents, 54 hospitals, and randomizing 5,788 patients, the FALCON trial is the first global surgical trial to test measures to reduce surgical site infection following abdominal surgery with a skin incision of 5 centimeters or greater. The trial took place in low- and middle-income countries where the burden of surgical site infection is greatest, including Mexico, Ghana, India, Nigeria, Rwanda, Benin, and South Africa. This 2x2 two two trial assessed if skin preparation method, or suture choice, would reduce SSI at 30 days post-surgery by equally comparing each randomized group in either clean contaminated or contaminated dirty abdominal wounds. Eligible patients were randomized at the individual level. The overall results of the FALCON trial were clear. In the clean contaminated stratum, there was no evidence of a difference in the risk of SSI with triclosan-coated sutures versus non-triclosan-coated sutures. The same was true in the contaminated or dirty stratum, and the evidence was consistent even in the secondary outcomes, including SSI at discharge, mortality within 30 days, readmission within 30 days, and length of hospital stay. The FALCON trial showed triclosan-coated sutures have no superiority over non-triclosan-coated sutures in preventing SSI. This new data makes a compelling case for changing your perspective on sutures and the risk of SSI.